Hey, check it out. There's a great storm going on out there. Nature's fireworks show. Let me show you a little trick. How far away do you think that storm is? Well, let's wait for the next big flash here. There. 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 6 1,000. Oh, there's the thunder. So, 6 seconds between the flash and the thunder. And that makes that lightning about 2 kilometers away. So how did I determine that? Let me show you. So let's take a second to visualize what's going on here. Here we are over here. And here's the center of the storm over here. Clearly not to scale. Now, when that lightning strikes, you see that flash pretty much immediately. Given the relatively short distance and the amazing speed of light, we treat it as instant. The sound wave, on the other hand, takes a lot longer to get to us. Six seconds, in our case. So let's run through this scenario once again, but with some more detail. We'll pull out an equation. D equals VT. There's no acceleration, so we can use this equation. In this equation, the D represents the distance traveled by that sound, the thunder. V is the speed of the sound, around 340 meters per second in air. And T is the time that the sound has traveled in seconds. That's our counting. So, again, the lightning flashes. And when we see the flash, we can start our counting. 1, 1,000. And at t equals 1 second, the sound has traveled, well, d equals vt, 340 times 1, or 340 meters. At 2, 1,000. That's 2 seconds. And the sound has traveled, well, 680 meters. 3 1,000. At 3 seconds, a sound has traveled around 1,020 meters. Now, let's stop here, because this point is really interesting. 1,020 meters, and that's really close to 1 kilometer. So, we stop and think. The thunder travels about 1 kilometer every 3 seconds. And that's the key to our trick. Of course, we can use our equation to determine the distance after six seconds. But this trick is all about doing a quick estimation in our heads, right? So we count it to six seconds, thinking, well, six is two groups of three seconds. And sound travels about one kilometer every three seconds, so the lightning must be about two kilometers away. And that's it. It's an estimate, true, but it'll definitely get you quick and useful information. If you're working at an outdoor pool or at a camp or in a construction site and you see lightning off in the distance, sometimes it's really helpful for you and your group to know how far away that lightning is. And now you're prepared.